Superhawk fans, thanks for tuning in. Once again, it's the one and only Optibotomist coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Super 7 Silverhawks Ultimate Commander Stargazer. That grumpy old cyborg essentially gives us almost all of the original main good guys from the show. The only other one left to be released is Copper Kid. And that's available for pre-order right now on places like Big Bad Toy Store. Of course, we do have other Silverhawks that eventually come into the show later on. But within the first three waves of this series, we basically got them all. For the package, as you can see, absolutely gorgeous, reflective, chrome-style box, which looks incredible. You got the gorgeous Silverhawk logo right there in the front. You see Stargazer right there. Come around to the back. Of course, you got that embossed Silverhawks logo right there which is kind of hard to see. Oh, there you go. Oh, and there's me. And then you can slide this up, of course, set this off to the side. And then again, you got a very cool, very holographic looking image of Stargazer and then a bit of a read up. So if you want to pause it, go ahead. But of course, we're going to do the full reveal so that you can get my initial reaction coming around. And wow, there he is. The commander of them. Very, very cool. Now, one thing... One thing that immediately kind of catches my eye is the yellowish color for his cybernetic sections. I feel like, kind of feel like it's too yellow. Almost like a neon yellow, kind of. Overall, the figure still looks fantastic. I just, um, much like the uh, Steel Twins, how the color just wasn't quite right. I, I'm kind of getting that feeling here. It's, it's less gold-ish and more of a neon yellow kind of thing i mean we'll see I, I i don't know how i'm gonna feel about it in hand but you got his accessories blasters guns his extra bird which I, what was his name i forgot his name spyglass something like that i don't know but uh, for the packaging of course that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is and here we have commander stargazer opened up and out of his packaging and before we get into too much of the review, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that thumbs up and like this video. And if you're new and never want to miss another review, don't forget to subscribe. Now, starting off first with his accessories, as always, he does come with uh, several different hands here. You have a left hand here, or right hand, I should say, that is kind of like a saluting sort of hand. You have another one where he's going to punch in the face. But you also do got two other ones, one that is kind of pointing so you can have him like behave yourself silver hawks and then you have more of a relaxed kind of kind of an open clutching hand but you also have this one on him which is designed to really kind of hold his weapons you can see that the index finger here is a little bit more outward to fit where the uh, trigger actually would go so you do have those but you also do have some left hands that are designed to go along with this cybernetic arm uh, again you have a fist and a relaxed hand and honestly the more that i kind of look at it the color doesn't bother me that much i do still think that it's a little bit more neon than i would like but it, it's not bad it, it's kind of grown on me actually so like i was saying before i don't know how i feel about it i'm coming around to it Granted, they have announced that they are going to be doing chrome toy versions of these Silver Hawk figures, as well as toy versions of the bad guys. So we've already seen Monstar in his armored mode, as well as Buzzsaw. Both of those have a more toy accurate look, but they've also shown uh, Quicksilver, as well as I think it was Steelheart in their toy etic chrome look. And they look great, and this guy would look great as well. And honestly, I don't I don't know which ones I'm going to display because I love the cartoon, but I also love the toys. So, it's going to be tough. <laughs> but you also do have his giant blaster, which is wonderful. You can see that it's a very solid piece here, but great amount of detail all the way around with like the, the, the scope right here, the nice kind of light blue for the lens inside there. 
Uh, but for the most part, it is pretty simple. Um, you do have a couple different paint elements throughout it, but it's a big, giant, bazooka-y looking machine gun kind of. I don't even know, but super cool. You got a little handle here so he can, you know, take that going around and, you know, having a good time. He also does come with this kind of pistol sort of thing, which is a nice throwback to kind of his older days. He is one of the older models of Silverhawk uh, androids. So he doesn't have, like, the lasers in his shoulder. He doesn't have the wings. And a lot of his cybernetic stuff is definitely outdated. But he's been around for, like, hundreds of years. And I just love the fact that this old-timer's kind of got, like, a pistol. That That's just fun. I dig it. Also, he does come with his bird, and, um, what, I did not look up his name, it's Sly, Sly something, I, I thought it would be, like, Viewfinder or something like that, it's like Sly Bird, or, I, I, I didn't look, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, but, love the way that this looks, again, the color on here looks really very nice, you can even see, like, a slight shine to it which again works beautifully but again uh they're kind of reducing the articulation you know the the legs here don't do anything obviously the wings don't open the head is on a ball joint so you can move this around and the thing that i love about this guy is that he actually sits on them just about perfectly uh, so you can have this there and then the grips are wide enough that you can really kind of wedge that on and that sits Amazing. Uh, a lot of the Silverhawk figures, their birds do not perch on their arms at all. But that looks fantastic. I dig it. And then the one thing that I wanted to do was bring in Tallyhawk. Now, <laughs> believe it or not, I do have Quicksilver. And I have not done a review on him yet. So, I don't know why. Uh, but in the, uh, the premiere episode... Oh, see, that does not... Yeah, that one doesn't sit on here nearly as well either. Um, it's just that's too small of uh, a, a sort of grip, so you can't even get him to hold Tallyhawk here. Which I wish they they you know if they're if they're going to be going forward, um, I, I wish they would do something differently with this because I I would love to have Tallyhawk kind of be perched on on, on Quicksilver. Uh, I, I mean. It's just when you when you look at it, look how look how small those are by comparison to how big these ones are. I mean, that's a huge difference there, and it just it doesn't work, and that's very unfortunate because all of these will look so much cooler being able to perch these on them. I mean, that is just that is cool. I mean, I love that. To be able to do it, in 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 you, you I don't even have. Oh, you can kind of balance it. I mean, I just think that that's cool. And uh, Tallyhawk was originally controlled by Stargazer, and then he gave him over to Quicksilver. So cool. Uh, wish I could do that. I like that you can do it with this Slybird or whatever. And that is that is a real. Let me come in closer. Let me, that is a real cool look. For that guy, you got that little centerpiece right there. I mean, all the way around. I mean, like, that is a, a cool-looking bird. I, I, I dig him, and I love the color on that guy. Really very nice. Uh, now, much like all the, uh, the Silverhawk figures, you do get alternate heads. So you have a very kind of standard head on them right here. But you got two of these other ones. Now, the biggest difference most, I mean, you can see. Well, let me come in so you can see him nice and easy. I don't mean to zoom in on his crotch, sorry. Uh, but... The facial expressions are different on um, him. Um, he's kind of smiling. That's got a little bit more of an open smile. But the nice thing is that you can see this one has his like viewfinder extended, which this one is not. I love that because he would always kind of do that. Whenever like Tallyhawk was flying around, he could kind of see what Tallyhawk would see. And I like how that kind of extends out. That's really very cool. But great head sculpt on both of these. And then, like I said, you bring in this guy... And you have kind of just a more stoic look for him, which is perfectly fine. Super cool. Absolutely dig it. Now, let's do some comparisons before I get into things like articulation. Uh, just setting him right here so you can kind of see how big he is. And again, these guys look terrific all together. They really do. I, I know I said that I have not done a review of them, but here is Quicksilver. And as I previously mentioned... 
The only one of the main group of Silverhawks that we haven't gotten yet is Copper Kid. And he's probably going to be about like, like that big. So that works so very nicely. Now I'm spreading these guys out just so I can bring in one other to uh, do a comparison on. And his ankles are lame. That's, that's lame. <laughs> bring him in. And then uh, because he is kind of his old nemesis of sorts, here we have Monstar! And the biggest one of them all, this version of Monstar. And, oh man, <laughs> I absolutely love the way that all of these guys are turning out. It's so, so amazing. And for one final comparison, because I actually have my vintage version of them, here is that old Stargazer. And you can see that one thing that I always really liked was, I don't know why it's green here, uh, but you have like this viewfinder in there maybe that's where i get the name viewfinder from but i don't know if it'll focus on it oh there oh kind of so you can see that you can look through there and uh get it to magnify and stuff like that i mean so that's that's kind of fun um there is some yellowing going on with them but you can see the overall design is pretty much spot on the only difference really is the chrome that's on them but th this guy is uh i mean a, a real good representation of how he looked in the cartoon. Actually, he's even more articulated than some of the other ones because he's got knee articulation on there. And then these arms, I think, oh no, this one, this one I thought rotate. Yeah, that one rotates. So you could have him hold his bird at least. So really very cool. But again, very similar in terms of the overall look between them, um, just much smaller. Now coming in to take a closer look, again, great detail all the way around. I do, like I said, wish the yellow was less bright. I mean, I, I, I get that it is meant to kind of replicate metal, obviously, but I feel like it, it, it's just a little bit too bright of a color. But I love that they got that carrying down here. Now, one thing about him is that the suspenders are actually slightly separate pieces, uh, except they are connected. So you can kind of see like there's a little bit of separation here and the back. But then, like I said, and then you can kind of move them a little bit. You can see, but they are attached permanently there. I love the tie there. I love the collar. The tie is a softer bit as well. But all the way around, still great detail. Even when you come down to the pants, you got that yellow stripe, which is what he had in the film. Uh, I love how big his, his shoes are as well, because that creates a very sturdy sort of um standing pose form which is fantastic because some of the other ones as you can see kind of with like quicksilver the ankles are a little bit soft and, and it, it looks it, it's a little bit tricky to get them to kind of actually pose and that i'm like i like the ratchet joints in him as well i'm like this guy is beefy and feels better than some of the other silver hawks which is interesting uh, articulation wise the head is on a ball joint so you get a good range of motion with that you got shoulder pins so you can hinge in and out rotate all the way around as well he does have an elbow pin right there which is really nice you get a good again ratchet joint going on there uh, it does rotate at the elbow and then that's it like this yeah this arm doesn't rotate as well so you just have the rotation there which is nice because some of those other Silverhawks, like the bicep would rotate and then it would rotate at the elbow, which I feel is like kind of like a pointless rotation, but uh, he doesn't have that there, just probably to keep the sculpt kind of um, in, in place. And then this one, yeah, that doesn't move. Uh, he does rotate at the wrist. He does have the hinge. That one uh, has not been popped yet, so I'm going to be very careful, but you can do that. With that one, you can see great detail on there. Oh, oh, that hurt my finger. You can see great detail, though, on the cybernetic arm as well. Really nice. Now, one thing, though, is that he does not... Oh, no, he does. I lied. And that is going to make me very nervous. I didn't think he could. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does have a, a ball joint there. Um, but I would be very careful with that kind of moving around i mean it seems pretty well attached i just i don't know i mean you can kind of I, I i you can do it um i'd be careful just because it's attached here and it's attached there and when you move it you can see that it's 
kind of pulling on this. So don't move it a lot, guys. Uh, but I like the fact that that articulation is there. The hips move forward and back. They move in and out. This is a softer kind of diaper piece. So you can see that it does flex a little bit when you're doing it. Does it rotate up there? Kind of. Yeah, there's, there's some rotation up there. This one seems really stiff. So, um, again, be cautious as you're moving things around. But you do have some slight rotation there, it seems. But it does kind of break up the sculpt of the, the pants right there. And then you do have a knee that bends. There's also a rotation right above that. And then do the boots rotate? Kind of feels... Oh, yeah, they do. This one, I can feel that peg is, is stuck in there and I can feel the the plastic kind of porking so that's definitely not good but this one does uh, and then you do have really nice solid ankles that move forward and back and again soft ratchets in there and then you have the ankle pivot so lots of great articulation in the guy for a figure that doesn't really need a lot of articulation but he's fun uh, he really really is very very cool looking uh, honestly I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. That of the Silverhawk figures, he's probably my favorite. Um, again, he was kind of grumpy in the original animation. <laughs> so maybe that's why I like him because I'm, I'm kind of grumpy myself. Uh, but I also love that the, the, the bird can perch on here. Oh, wait. As I'm saying it and then it doesn't do it. Um, I think that is fantastic. I wish some of the other ones could do that because this is a cool cool display being able to do this is fun uh i i mean this this is what i want my silver hawks to be able to do and the fact that none of them can really do it truthfully annoys me um because i think that is what you a lot of people would want you know i mean they're, they're probably going to go with the wings out as well but like i just think that that's cool and i wish that tally hawk could do it because he would kind of control tally hawk from time to time and, and and you can't because his little feet are a little bit too small now you could probably get some like sticky tack or something and, and do it um or maybe a rubber band I, I don't i don't know um honestly because i don't know if sticky tack is going to damage like the paint on there or something but like i just i wish i could do that with him with, with him i mean and he can't do it with, with Quicksilver, so let me let me show you. Just because, like I said, never really reviewed Quicksilver, but you're gonna have that, and then I mean, it's it's not easy to do. And part of it is because these these little legs like moving around, but you can see how big his forearm is. Y you can't really get him. No, I'm dropping stuff. Um, I I, I yeah. I, you, you can't, it's not grabbing it. What if I try doing it on this arm? Which, realistically, he, he wouldn't do it on this arm. Um, but I feel... I mean... Yeah, it's not grabbing it at all. So... It, it's just... It, it really is kind of disappointing. That That's one of the things... Like, people... People you know, are disappointed in, in the paint and everything. Um, or, or not, not, not even necessarily the paint, but the coloring of the paint. Uh, my biggest disappointment is I can't get the damn birds to perch on their arms. I mean, that is lame. So lame. But overall, Commander Stargazer is super cool. If, if you are collecting these Silverhawk figures... He's definitely one that you have to add to your collection just because, just because, I mean, he, he, he's the commander of them. But uh, beyond that, guys, that's about it. If you would like to add me to your collection, he is available right now on good old Big Bad Toy Store. So for that, I'll put a link right down there in the video description where you can swing on by and check out availability on him as well as the rest of the wide range of Super 7 figures. Also, like I said, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to like the video. And until next time, this is Optobotomus saying adios, au revoir, and I'll be the same.